to be the third Tennessee volunteer and to be joining that that roster that includes now Doug Adkins, Reggie White, and you. Yeah, no, very honored, John, to uh, to to join Reggie and Doug Adkins as uh, University of Tennessee's uh, Pro Football Hall of Famers. Uh, uh, certainly, uh, think. Uh, uh, certainly, no, I won't be the last. There's a, there's a tight end that played for the Cowboys that I think will be uh, packing his bags for Canton in a few years. And uh, just just very proud of it. Uh, it. It's just been such an important uh, part of my football journey. You know, I've said this before, but every game I'd read the pregame program front to back and always just kind of check to be sure they had my information correct. And it always said, quarterback, 18, Peyton Manning, hometown, New Orleans, Louisiana, college, University of Tennessee. When they used to introduce you before the game, the announcer always said, from the University of Tennessee, quarterback. So I felt like I was always carrying Tennessee with me and was always reminded that that's where I came from. And uh, that, that was important to me. And always was a real bond, John, playing against Al Wilson or Peerless Price, Leonard Little, guys that I played with, um, uh, Jason Witten, j- just a bond there from you know, the University of Tennessee playing against these guys in the NFL. And uh, it's uh, I certainly am, am taking the University of Tennessee and Knoxville and the state of Tennessee into the Hall of Fame with me because they've been such an important part of my football uh, life. Uh, have, have my college buddies, uh, Coach Cutcliffe, Coach Fulmer, uh, Jim Haslam, um, uh, all will be in Canton uh, to to uh, to celebrate with me and uh, Trey Teague, my old roommate. Uh, um, you know that, that's that's very special and important to me as well. Yeah, I figure Carmen will be along for the ride as well. Congratulations! Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, Carmen is, is never has never missed a, a party with free booze and uh, and food, <laughs> so I I can promise you that. But 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 going back to join Reggie and, and Doug Atkins, uh, you know, obviously. Um, that they are, they are, I mean, they're legends, right? And uh, I had a chance to spend time with Doug Atkins my senior year. Uh, I, I interviewed him for a school project, uh, had to do a lot of editing on, on some of the language, but I really enjoyed the day. And, you know, Reggie, I didn't get to know as well because we just lost him way too soon, but uh, what a great ambassador for Tennessee and so many things. And so really honored to join, uh, to join that group. Hey, Peyton, congratulations. Rick Russo here in Knoxville. Um, going back to that day at the stadium, Peyton, when your former coaches came out to surprise you with the news that you were yeah. going into the Hall of Fame, what did that mean to you, especially having Coach Cut and Phillip there as well, and what those two guys specifically meant to you back here at the University of Tennessee? Yeah, that was a special day. You know, in many ways, uh, you know, there's so many negative things about the pandemic, but the fact that they weren't allowed to do the hotel knock on the door and uh, they had to sort of give you the news in a different way and actually kind of organize that where these coaches would come out to me to uh, kind of let me know the news. And, you know, the fact that Cutcliffe, Fulmer, Tony Dungy, Jim Caldwell, Kubiak all took the time to be there meant a lot. But, yeah, I mean, really right there in front of me was, you know, 30 years of coaching just flashed before my eyes. and had a high school, uh, uh, had a video from my high school coach on there and my couple other coaches. So uh, that was special. We had a great short visit after everybody was getting back home right after that. But Coach Cut and Coach Fulmer and I had a great visit. Uh, look, that's where it all started for me uh, in Knoxville. Uh, both those guys recruited me to uh, uh, come to Tennessee and everything they told me was going to happen, happened. Uh, they coached. They coached me hard, and most importantly, uh, they've been great friends of mine ever since 1994. And uh, I'm very thankful for that. Thanks, man. Congratulations again. Thank-